Hi viewers, I welcome you all to the Symantec DLO video series. In this fourth video, we are going to watch how to create a user, how to backup and how to restore. For this demonstration, I have one domain controller, one Windows server installed with DLO and one Windows 7 client machine. We will demonstrate create a user, how to create a backup and restore from the backup. So let us watch a demonstration on how to create a user in DLO server. Open Symantec DLO console. From the setup, you have two options to create a user. One is automatic user assignment and second one is users. In automated user assignment, right click and select a new user assignment. Here you can select domain and also the users group here like domain users. You can select the profile here. You can choose storage location here. This is for automated user assignment. In this demonstration, I use manually how to create a new user. So right click and select new user. Click browse and use the domain here and select user. Here I choose NIAS. Select the profile I created before and I select network storage location that we created in the previous video. Click OK. Now I'm going to log in to the client machine. So when you log into your machine, you will see Symantec DLO running here. Open desktop agent. As we give some privileges to the user, you can see the backup selections and some options that uh, is allowed for the desktop agent and also the user can run the job also so I create one test document here backup one now we go to the server we just go to the computers you can see the computer which the user login to run the backup job manually from the server side you can right click here and you can select run backup now the other option to run the backup is if you, the user have privilege he can run from here so here I will kick off a backup from the server side. Run backup now. To know the status of the backup, you can go to history. Then you will see the backup status. Two files protected and the status of backup is completed. Now I go to the client again and I wrote one more test called backup 2. I save the file, come back to the server and run one more backup.
so again the backup completed here so now we will see how to restore the backup completed the recent backup when you click restore you will see the users and computers here select the user and computer expand and select the file which you require now here you can see the same text file which have two different version one i created in the beginning with the back when i entered a test backup one this one i modified back backup two so semantic dlo also give opportunity to restore the data based upon the versions so here i am going to restore this one restore to the original folder or you can select an alternate folder i give restore to the original folder if the file already exists overwrite click okay restore the restore job has been submitted to the computer we go back to the history and we will see the restore is completed here we will check from the client side now and the file is replaced with the older version so we created a new user and we assigned a profile then we run backup then we restored also so thanks for watching this video for more videos please visit niasitpro.com or visit my tech l space bye bye